Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my presentation on telecom customer churn analysis. In today's highly competitive market, retaining the customer is more important than ever. In this presentation, we will be discussing the challenges faced by the telecom company and the strategies they can use to reduce the customer churn. So let's get started. My name is Shiny Abraham and I'm a Power BI developer. The reason for choosing this project on telecom churn is because I work in a telecommunication company, but what really motivates me was the incident ticket where the customer was mad about the terrible customer service, being on hold forever and not getting any resolution. Does that ring a bell to you all? I'm sure it does because every one of us had a bad customer service experience one way or the other. Let me quickly walk you through the incidents. This veteran couple were convinced to switch the provider by Jack at Costco, who promised a discount if they took two lines. They, could, they agreed to the Jack, they got the two lines, everything went good, they went home happily. However, the first bill was much higher than expected and the promised discount was not even applied. Despite the numerous attempt to rectify the situation, they were unable to afford that bill and now regret switching the provider. They are already in the market looking for the new provider. That made me think, what are the reasons that made customer churn? Customer churn is when the customer or the client decide to end their relationship with the company, leading to the revenue loss, and decrease in the performance. There are two types of churn. Voluntary, where customers decide to leave the company, they want to stop all the services due to dissatisfaction, and involuntary, which cause due to the circumstances like relocation to old age home or death. Now that we understand the importance of the retention, let's focus on the key performance indicator the KPIs I used and the data modeling I used in my project. The KPI I used here includes the total churn, customer, uh, total customer, churn customer, churn rate and churn revenue to figure out the revenue loss and to create, and to create a comprehensive data model, I utilize a main table and I have created another table to find out the location of the customer and I have created several measures. Now that we went over the KPIs and the data modeling, I can't wait to show my dashboard to you all. This is my dashboard. On the left-hand side are the KPIs. And you can see I have utilized multiple line stack column chart to show my dashboard. The first chart is the customer status where it shows us how much customer state, how many customers churn, and how many are the new joinees. The second, uh, second chart, which I would like to talk about is the churn by the age. So I want to see if, if whether the age impact the customer churn. I have created the age bins where I, as you all can see, the customer, the churn rate between the 20%, 20 age of Bye. 20 to age of 50 is stable, it's not, the customer is not churning much, it's stable. But after the age of 50, you can see a slight increase. It is gradually increased. That shows, that could be the reason of the involuntary churn, which we talked before. The next, uh, the purpose of creating the tenure by year was to show how the customer uh, churn impact if the customer stays longer. So it shows the relationship between the customer tenure bit and the churn rate. So as you all can see, the longer the customers stay, the less likely they will get churned. So that is the purpose of making the tenure chart. Then I have also created a map. As I said, I, I want to show the states where the customer impact was. So uh, the most of the uh, uh, clutter is in California because most of the data belong from the California. I have demonstrated in my project that two main contributors for the customer churn. Number one is fiber optic. As you all can see, because of the fiber optic, there is the customer churn is almost 41%. That is a huge number. And 
The second main key player for the customer churn is that month to month contract where customer is not signing the agreement to or not committing with the company that they will stay longer. They just want to do that window shopping, staying month to month. So those customer are more likely to get churned. So that was the second one. Uh, the another chart which I have created is the decomposition tree where I want to see what are the top three reasons that make the customer churn. And the top three reason, the first is the competitor. Competitor coming up with a better deal. Competitor coming up with a better offer, taking the customer survey. Second one, the attitude. The customer service agent attitude, the customer support agent attitude, those atti bad attitude of the agents impact the customer churn. And third one, overall dissatisfaction with the service, with the product service and the services overall. Customer is churning. So those are the three main reasons for customer churn. The last I have created the similar looking key influencer chart where what I have done is I have picked all those uh, key factors that influence the customer churn like month to month contract, which we talk about, the less the uh, customer have the contract, like month to month contract, the most likely they will get churned. And the like compared to the two year and one year, the second one is the fiber optic, as we said, fiber optic is the key factor for the customer churn. Customer is not happy with the fiber optic services as promised, they are not getting, or it is very costly. Those are the reasons. And the third one, which I would like to talk to you about here is the average of total service subscribed. The less, as you all can see here, the less the service subscribed, the more the churn rate is. And the more the service subscribed, the less the churn rate is. The graph is literally going downwards which shows us if the customer has more service subscribed with the company, they are less likely to get churned. They will stay with us more. On the basis of these three criteria, I have come up with some risk factor. What I suggest here is if customer fall in these three criteria, that means they are in the high risk bucket and those are the customer, they are most likely to churn. We need to pay more attention to those customers. If the customer falls in two criteria, that means they are in the 50-50 bucket, they may churn, they may not get churned. And so, but still we need to take care of this customer. And the last is the low risk bucket where the customer is falling only in the one criteria. Those are our safe customer, in other words. Now let we talk about all the challenges and the problems which we are facing in the telecom company due to the customer churn. Now we will talk about some of the strategies. So I come up with three main strategies. So number first strategy is for the, for the contract, month to month contract, I suggest here is offering the incentive for longer commitment, such as reduce the rate for yearly and quarterly contract can significantly reduce the customer share up to 41 percentage. The second strategy for the fiber optic, what I suggest here is examine the network performance. Send out the survey to the customer and identify what are the things that make customers sad because of the fiber optic or they are dissatisfied because of the fiber optic and revise those plans accordingly. Also offer those fiber optic customers internet with unlimited data or maybe a new device that can help retain those customers. The third uh, strategy which I come up with is focusing on the effective customer service. Show customer that we feel you, we are here for you. Show that empathy towards the customer. Reassure your customer that we are listening. Upselling and cross-selling the products and services as well as rewarding the loyal customer with exclusive deals and discounts can also help retain the customers. Research shows that offering the better customer service and service plan will save up to 40% of telecom customer from churning. In conclusion, a positive review and a survey from a satisfied customer in the social media can also attract new customer and help the company thrive. Remember, it costs seven times more to acquire the new customer than to retain the old ones. You must be thinking now, hold on, Shiny. What happened to that veteran couple? Did they churn? Did they, did they left this provider? Well, the answer is no. We not only give them the best customer service and discount, 
but also we got the one thing all company want from their customer after giving all the services is that one five star rating, a great review. Thank you for patiently listening to my presentation and I really appreciate your valuable time.